my freshman year in college, you know, the beginning of the year, you're all hanging around the dorms, you're, you're, you know, socializing, you're meeting people, you know, first time people outside of your high school, your, your hometown that you grow in, you meet a lot of people and you're doing a lot of, you know, doing a lot of talking and getting to know each other. And, uh, one night in particular, there was this dude on my floor. I don't even remember his name anymore, but he was a total bro and he can't, mind you, this was the fall of 1996. So Dave Matthews was a pretty big deal. And, you know, I, I was, a, was a Dave Matthews Band fan. I'd seen him three or four times, I think, between, um, you know, all of the 90s, I guess. Um, but this dude, you know, you, you know I, I think this is when um, uh, Crash, the album, came out. And everyone's, you know, playing, playing the CDs in their dorms and you know we're sitting around in in our dorm room and you know there's like five girls and maybe five guys or something and we're all just talking this dude's talking about like dude i freaking love dave matthews dude he's he's the, he's the best man he's he's awesome you know he's just going on and on about about how much um he loves dave matthews and you know uh the, you know this is this is a guy who's kind of um kind of a meathead you know and so one of the girls that was with us it says, oh, you know what? We went to a Dave Matthews Band concert. And my friend, who's a guy, you know, we, we got um, backstage and he starts making out with, with Dave Matthews. And then the, the bro guy got really, really mad and really upset. No, man, that's not true. That's not true. And, and like, you could see like how angry, you know, like this, you know, he... His idol um, didn't match the, uh, you know, the values that this guy has. And he was, you know, flipping out. He was pacing the room. It's not a big dorm room. This was like a, like a 10 by 10 room at most, maybe. And um, just pacing around. It's like, no, no. And he's got his, like, his fitted hat on backwards. And he's, like, like you know, bending the brim. And, and just, just like, no, this is not, not true. And then, you know, the girl was like, yeah, I mean, it's true. I, I saw it. And, and... I witnessed this, you know, this, uh, this moment. And he's like, well, well, so what, man? If I had a chance to make out Dave Matthews, I probably would too. And then you could see, like, it wash over him, like, what he just said. And, and like, um, you know, this is probably not a very open-minded dude from a, from a kind of a small town. Not that all small town people are, are closed-minded, but based on other, part, you know, conversations that this guy has um, contributed to, it seems like he's not the most um, uh, flexible-minded, I guess. Um, so he's like realizing that he just said that he would make out with Dave Matthews, that you know conflicted with who he was at his core, and he kind of got up and, and and ran out of the room. Now. I don't know if that story was true, and really, I do not care. But that moment, watching someone's like you know internal dialogue play out on their face and in their eyes, you know, eyes of the windows to the soul. Um, I'll never forget that. I, I witnessed a guy come to grips, maybe with his true self. I wish more people could experience that.